Hi, I'm Rob Streeter and I'm the author of The Greats of Adirondack Fly Fishing. And this is another in our series of videos on my warm water flies. This pattern is called the Easy Worm. It's my answer to the bass fisherman's plastic worm rigs. It's a fly that I use for large mouths. It's pretty simple to tie and it's got a couple of neat little weird features that I think you'll enjoy. So here's how we tie it. I also want to announce that we're having a giveaway. Anyone that purchases the book between now and December 20th, 2022 will be eligible for a drawing and the winner is going to receive a set of my smallmouth flies. And these are flies that I tie in my patterns and use for smallmouths. If you like these videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're growing steadily and hit the like button too. We enjoy bringing these to you and there's plenty more content to come. We got more videos in the warm water series coming up and I got a couple more series lined up and there'll be even more in the future. So thank you for watching. Here's how we tie the easy worm. This one's got a little weird deal, but you'll see how it all works when it all comes together. Where I take a, I take an old streamer hook and I'm going to just clip it off and use the shank. And I'm going to use the eye part and maybe about that much. This is going to be the tail of the worm. So we'll get that started. I'm going to start the thread. Bring it down just about that much. Trim it off. I'm gonna use, this is just a piece of sheet foam. It's kind of a bright colored greenish. And I've cut out, if I can get my hands on it, I cut out a little teardrop shape. So I'm gonna tie that in. Just get that down. Next material is just chartreuse bright color of gray squirrel tail. I got a little bit left off one, so I'm going to take two bunches of fur. Take one here. And that's going to go Like that. I want that to kind of roll around the foam. And I'm going to tie another bunch in for the bottom. I have a fellow that I go back and forth with down in North Carolina. It's going to be very happy. He's been waiting for the instruction video to tie this fly. And this piece of foam is something that I've changed and added since I wrote my warm water fly fishing book. And the reason I added that in is it's going to make that tail float. So the head end of the fly is going to sink, but the tail is going to float. Look at that, all bound down nice. Okay, so the worm part is Hestas. I'm gonna make this one electric purple. We're going to get our Estaz and we're just going to bind it down. i 
turn that off. So I'm going to, our S tabs we're going to go about eight inches with. And I'm going to just put a half inch in this. Pull the S tabs through the loop. And we'll just drop a half inch on there. Because I'm going to take our hook shank that we tied in. I'm going to pull it out and turn it around. And what that's going to do is I'm right handed and it's going to make it a lot easier for me to finish binding all that down and put a whip finish on it. Okay, we're just going to whip finish that. And trim our thread. Instead of head cement, I'm going to super glue that. I'm just going to put a drop of super glue. that to stay in place and I want it to be durable so that's why I use super glue okay so I'm just going to take a hair clamp pop that out of the vise and try not to super glue myself and we'll let that dry go to the next piece. So the rest of it, I'm using a wide gap bass hook with just a brass cone head. And the rest of it's really easy. Thus the name, the easy worm. Just run our thread all the way down. You can also make this one weedless. You can add monofilament or I like to use wire when I use weed guards. But for today's purposes, we're not going to do that. So now we're going to bring in our estas and our tail. And I'm going to tie it in about like this. Just get about three or four Good wraps in the back, bring this all the way forward, and there goes our pug. Pug is playing with the, the other dog and having a good time. So we just wind our estas forward, There, we're going to tie it off. And we'll trim it. Bind that down, make a head. And we 
whip the finish. Get a drop of head cement in there. We'll just tie on a little head to keep our cone in place. Piece of Estaz sticking through here. And we'll get the answer for that in a second. There it is. Finish that. And that is it. And just trim our thread, throw some head cement on, and we're good. That's an easy worm, and it is easy other than the tail section, but once you learn the trick of turning it over so you can get a whip finish in there and get everything all tied down, it's not too bad. So coming up, we have some tips on how to fish it. So stay tuned. My favorite way to fish this fly is up shallow, either just before the bass has spawned or even when they're starting to stake out some beds. It's a slow presentation and it works well in shallow cover where there's some sort of protection and the bass can stake out some territory. So this is my favorite way to fish this for a large mouse. Mm -hmm. 